What is going on my friends? As you can see for all the OGs, you already know where I'm at right now. And that is my place once again. I'm back in Germany just to set this camera a little bit. Okie doke. So, I just came yesterday back and uh, I don't know what I'm going to film today. Uh, but I already had one meal in the morning. So probably just right now putting it on the screen and Yeah, what I have uh, is like 150 grams of oatmeal and 200 grams of a chicken breast. So why is that? Uh, so this connection meat and oatmeal because this is the only thing that I had left I must go to the shopping so I am eating right now second meal and that meals are both that actually left in my uh, fridge and yeah so that was the first meal and I'm actually gonna put the macros right now on the screen if you want to know it uh, so maybe this is gonna be full day of eating maybe I don't I really don't know I made my cut as you already saw I'm not so beautiful but it is what it is you cannot deal with that and right now I have a second meal also uh, the things that have been left before so what we have here is 250 grams of salmon pretty nice if you ask me that has been left in the fridge and 650 grams of white potatoes so this is actually the pre-workout meal and a little bit of ketchup uh, usually I will do like more potatoes or something else but I just don't feel so good I feel a little bit sick and it's always with me like that uh, to acclimate once again to another country and everything I always need at least two three weeks but it is what it is also one thing uh, I waited a couple of days ago uh, after the gym on empty stomach and I had almost 88 kilos as you can see and uh, uh, right now after the breakfast even uh, I waited myself and I was around 85 kilos so I lost almost three kilos and that that's that's my friends like with me like that my body is so much adapted to a lot of carbs that when I don't eat so good I literally like lose all the weight it is a water but also it is a a little bit of weight because it's still three kilos so I drove to Croatia all the way and then ate like two days uh, so good to be honest and right now I'm back on the grind guys and from this day I'm gonna start filming much more videos uh, I'm gonna do uh, everything to improve my online coaching and everything so anyway this is the pre-workout meal I still after the gym must go to the shopping to some to buy some groceries so probably gonna show you that and we're gonna see how this day gonna go right now I'm gonna dig into this meal as I already said macros will be listed on the screen drink my coffee and off to the gym my friends I Inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Everything fire spreading all around my room. 
My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush I just got home and the lighting is bad. That's the first fact. Second fact, life update. So, not so good. <laughs> This is actually literally second time in my life that I threw up after my workouts. The training that you saw actually wasn't from today. Uh, that was in Croatia. And one fun fact is that when I'm in Croatia, as I worked as fitness coach, I have like a free membership in every city of Croatia. So that's, that's the fun fact. Either way, I did leg day and I felt sick. I'm feeling sick uh, since I came here. It's always like that guys, I don't know why, but this country, I always need to acclimate like for a longer period of time. And, but I crushed the legs. I literally crushed, I, I couldn't drive back home right now. So the workout was sick, but after that, I felt really sick and I threw up actually. Immediately after that, I'm gonna put in right now on the screen, the video, I drank uh, protein and I ate one banana. After that immediately, because I am running today, uh, like not late, but really, really late, I went on this Mexican grill place. It's like something like Chipotle. I made myself a chicken burrito. They made me, I didn't make that. I'm gonna put the calories of that whole meal on the screen right now, like with the, with the protein, with the banana and with the burrito, a pro, a like estimated calories, because I don't know actually how many calories uh, that had, I literally, like force myself to eat it because I'm feeling so bad. I don't know what it is. And I already lost two kilos, which is like not an optimal thing. I want to gain weight. So yeah, anyway, I went to shopping as you can see. And I forgot also because I'm feeling so bad. I forgot so many things, but I'm gonna show you right now what I actually bought. So first thing, eggs, normal omega-3 eggs, normal ones. And then again, eggs, but these are the pre-boiled legs so it's already boiled you just have to like eat <laughs> so the next is i'm gonna have this for dinner it's uh three grams of fat per 100 grams and 22 grams of protein so lean beef ketchup of course this is the condiment that is necessary in my life in especially when i'm booking uh, then next meal cut a cheese one only one and this is like for the really for the like special occasions when i don't have a uh, too much protein in my diet then i'm gonna like just eat it because i try to avoid as much as possible dairy products i'm gonna try don't know if i'm gonna succeed uh some turkey breast meat also lean meat uh this is the cheese but like light it has only 15 grams of fat 100 grams and 30 grams of protein so this is pretty nice i'm gonna also zip this all around my last meal we have a razor only for the fading and you know mustache and everything it must be clean that's the important thing then as always i do have this ivas brot which means uh protein bread i love that like uh really low in carbs and pretty high in protein and in fat moderate but i like this it's also meal for the breakfast then I have a lean turkey ham, which I'm gonna probably put on this protein bread. Then I have a, this is actually, I don't know why I bought that, but I know because I must work on Monday and today is a Saturday. So this is like microwave meal, but it's like Chinese, I think, uh, literally chicken, rice and vegetables. So just put it in a microwave and that's it. I'm gonna bring that in myself on Monday for our work coffee of course i actually have two of these one for the work and one for the house more of these razors we don't need to do that 
uh, have a this. I don't know how it's called in your country, but it's gnocchi. It's actually pasta from potatoes. That's gonna be my last meal. This is a uh, microwave vegetables. So just put in the microwave and they're all done. You don't have to boil them and anything. So at this point, it's really necessary to be fast because I really feel bad and I need to acclimate once again to uh, Germany. <laughs> then I have jam, guys. Jam. Also, with that jam, I have a, this toast bread and I have a peanut butter, guys. So, the fastest pre-workout meal that you can make is that one. Like, literally, uh, little kids make that for school and everything. And this is actually pretty nice pre-workout meal. It's fast, so just put a jam and peanut butter on the toast and it's finished. When you're bulking, pretty nice pre-workout. That's my, like, suggestion. And it's uh, packed with calories, so it's pretty nice for the for the bulking. Also, once again, microwave edges. Dark chocolate always have that. Always have this 85%. Always have dark chocolate. 85% is actually my favorite because it's still sweet and it doesn't contain so much carbs. So it's actually that I most like. Once again, more veggies. And the last thing is basmati rice. So basically, yeah. Everything is clean and I did forgot a lot of things like avocados, bananas, oatmeal, pasta and stuff like that. And when people ask, you know, what is the difference of eating like on a cut or on a book, there's, there's no difference in the groceries as we speak about the groceries. Only difference is between volume of the food. So I literally eat when I'm cut and when I book. I literally eat the same meals but just like smaller volume. Simple as that. And from time to time I do have a like more often cheat meals when I'm bulking, but it's like pretty normal and that was about it my friends 7 30 p.m. And I can pack just one more meal today So I still don't know how many calories did I ate until now So yeah, I'm gonna count that everything on my last meal and I'm, then I'm gonna show you my last meal and the calories for for this whole day Okay, this is what I call the proper last meal of the day, guys. And I still don't feel so good, to be honest. Still feel pretty, pretty sick. I still don't know the macros and the calories of the whole day. Uh, after this video, I'm actually gonna put everything in my fitness pal. First, gonna put the macros of this meal right now on the screen somewhere. And what we have in here is whole package of this gnocchi, which is around not around, which is 500 grams, the whole package. I have a 200 or 250 grams of a beef, beef steak, like beef meat, uh, lean beef. And I sprinkle all around this light cheese, which I didn't count and I don't even want to put that in my fitness pal since I'm bulking. And I have a this whole bowl of veggies because today I actually didn't eat any of the veggies and I do need some micronutrients of course. I do think that is also one of the things that I feel bad because recently I didn't eat so much didn't eat so much uh, vegetables. So this is the that was the macros for this whole meal and the macros for the whole day will be also listed right now on the screen somewhere. And as I said I don't know but uh, I would estimate this around this whole day around 4,000 calories. May sound maybe a big amount, but I ate like four bigger meals today, and this is the biggest one. I think this is over like thousand and two, three hundred calories. Ketchup on everything. Don't count the ketchup. Also, don't count the condiments. It is what it is. So I'm not in the mood so much to wrap this video up today. So I'm actually gonna wrap this video up tomorrow and maybe I'm gonna continue to do the full day of eating tomorrow even. We're gonna see how that goes. Anyway, gonna like really dive into this meal because I think it's gonna be the best one today. Gnocchi, beef, 
cheese. Mm. This was it for this full day of eating. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. We are back at the position of eating. The breakfast is served. <laughs> the breakfast is currently 12 o'clock if you can see. So it's already afternoon and this is because of the fact that I woke up and watched uh, McGregor fight. So you know right now what time it is and what day it is exactly. So you know how actually I'm late with all of these videos and everything. But you know it is what it is. I'm starting working from tomorrow. So I just slept a little bit longer these two days, recover my body and everything. So. I feel much better today. Yeah, McGregor won, what a fight, he's bad guys. So I have breakfast in front of me, I'm gonna show you what I have. And that is two whole eggs guys and three egg whites with topped with the cheese on top. Once again, this light cheese with not so many fats. And once again, 150 grams of oatmeal, plain oatmeal, nothing is inside, just a little bit of stevia and what is with the focus? And that's about it uh, because I don't have any supplements right now. I am waiting for uh, my protein to send me one package. So I'm gonna show you that when it comes. I'm gonna list the calories for this meal on the screen. As I saw yesterday, I was about 3,800 calories. Yesterday I had 85 kilos and today I was once again 87.4, something like that. I'll put on the screen, of course, and that is what I'm talking about. Uh, my body just adopted so much to having the carbs and storage them as glycogen and everything for energy. When I eat a little less carbs, I'm immediately feeling depleted without pump and like my weight is almost always fluctuate to two per three kilos even. So when people cut on zero carbs, you know, zero carbs is for me like 200 grams of carbs. And this is the awesome thing actually, because I, throughout the years, I actually build my metabolism that I can run on much more carbs than the normal people. It's because I play soccer also. I played soccer throughout a whole year. Uh, through my whole life and yeah, that's why my body just uh, like storage that as an energy and that's about it So from tomorrow my calories will be bumped up up to like 6,000 calories because I ate right now 4,000 and I know what you mean right now 2,000 calories you don't bulk like that you go 200 calories Yeah, shut up. So from tomorrow I will be burning through every day approximately 2000 calories more and that's why I'm gonna bump up so much so most likely I'm gonna have like normal full day of feedings and in the end of the day I'm gonna have a cheat meal or when I crave When I don't I'm gonna, I'm gonna have simple as that. I talked about insulin and everything but these two days I wanna carb up so not like any meal was fat based Every meal is carb based and today I also want to carb up simply because I start training soccer and everything once again and I do want to come prepared even though I don't want to play soccer anymore but I have this competitor inside me so I don't want to be like uh, the last one I always want to be the the first one in everything so I just want to carb up to my butt for my body once again to train twice twice per day and have a job and everything so still don't want to wrap this video up right here. Uh, once again, as I already said, I want to uh, build my arms a little bit more, so I do more frequent my arms. And I don't want to show you my uh, workout today, but I'm gonna probably show you my meals throughout this day, and then I'm gonna wrap this video up. So without further ado, just gonna dig into this first meal of the day. And I'll see you when I figure it out what is next, guys. Okay, got back home, uh, post-workout meal is served, did arms, felt 
much better today and don't want to show you how I eat what I'm eating etc because I already think that this video is gonna be too long because I connected two days so just gonna show you right now this is the meal that I'm gonna have so simple meal post-workout meal I keep it simple as possible 200 grams of our rice and 200 grams of a turkey breast also gonna put the macros and the calories on the screen right now and I'm running a little bit late so I think that I'm gonna have only two more meals today so once again four meals from tomorrow I'm gonna start six meals per day once again and I see you right now on the next one and the next one is already here so what we have here is something that I just figured out in one minute because I didn't have time to cook and I made I don't know this is two slices of protein bread inside is uh, like spread cottage cheese for some additional protein uh, one slice of turkey ham lean turkey ham one whole egg is inside so this whole sandwich is basically protein based one slice of uh, white toast with some jelly on it for some additional carbs and this bowl prepared like microwave bowl of veggies and inside is actually some pasta again for some additional carbs because as I said I want to carb up these two days and like broccoli paprika I don't know what else like mixed vegetables topped with some ketchup once again you know ketchup is a staple in my diet so uh, just wanted to show you that meal macros will be listed at the screen right now also and wanted to say as you see this meal has no sense but basically you can figure everything out if you like know what you're doing and if it fits your macros or something even though i don't count my macros right now but i know approximately so i always figure something out pretty strange meal but in the end of the day our macros will be good probably so the rest of the carbs and rest gonna do in the last meal of the day the dinner so just one more meal to show until then So what I have in here is 200 gram of a grits, if you know what is this, I think it's a, like cream of rice, something like that. And with a five, no, six egg whites inside and a 40 grams of uh, peanut butter. So it's going to be the last meal of the day. Calories and macros will be listed at the screen right now. And also just to set this down. And also calories of the whole day are going to be also listed at the screen right now. So uh, I still don't know once again how many calories did I ate today, but I think it's uh, 200 maybe less than yesterday, uh, which is totally okay because yesterday I killed my legs and when you train legs you do need more food. Anyway, this was it for the whole day guys. Uh, so basically I just came two days ago in Germany and this is nothing special just like I pick up the camera and just wanted to kickstart this comeback immediately like film at least what I'm gonna eat is two days starting my trainings again starting to work once again which is not gonna be for a longer period of time but I'm gonna speak about that in my future videos so this is not a serious two days how it's gonna exactly everything look like I'm gonna bump up my calories bump up everything uh, and yeah I'm gonna be much more serious content also gonna be of course some of the if I do the cheat days it's gonna be probably thematic like cheat days with uh, with some team and yeah I'm gonna do the fun videos of course uh, gonna also do full day of eatings with the cheat meals gonna do a fun stuff gonna do uh, walk you through my I want to I actually want to come to 100 kilos that will be awesome because uh, if you follow my channel from the early beginning you know I'm always shredded I'm like 80 kilo shredded and I just want to like go to 100 kilos so if you're interested in seeing that someone goes to 80 kilos lean to 100 kilos not so lean probably uh, and if you enjoy this video it will be awesome if you hit that subscribe button I mean it's like the easiest part of everything 
if you if you watch my videos of course if you have some ideas what you want to see in other videos uh, some workouts as I already said maybe some thematic cheat days cheat meals maybe challenges better or something like that put the comments down below always you can always DM me you can always email me from this year I am putting everything into the fitness so I'm gonna try to grow this channel try to go my online community online coaching and everything I am doing at this point but I just want to grow with you guys and if you like this video of course don't forget to hit those like buttons guys I'm gonna enjoy this last meal gonna go to sleep and from tomorrow, from tomorrow grind kickstarts again anyways thank you guys once again for watching and I see you as always on my next video